action. Uh, hold on, y'all. Phil, go. Please, Louise, hang on, man. Rolling. There is holding. All right. Oh, okay. Shit. All right. <laughs> Another costly <laughs> sound delay. And marker. You do the slow mo thing where, where the slow mo shows me just doing. <laughs> Eating. And marker. Okay, cut. <laughs> so, and, and we were starting to lose you, so. Um, all right, we are in many ways. When do I start talking? When do I start talking? Thank you, children's home giveaway. So, um, okay. <laughs> all right. Ooh, sorry. Ooh. Wow. <laughs> God. You're going to have to yell at her. <laughs> sorry, boys. That was a robust clap. <laughs> All right, now that's the end of another great install. Now it's on, on to the Slide. Slide to the left. Yep. Slide to the left. Still press. <laughs> Keep it shuffled. Hey there. Hold on, there's a car. When I got hired, I knew that there was a show. They didn't say I had to do the show, but um, I've always been interested in film and TV, so it was kind of right up my alley and I was happy to do it. That was so long ago. I think we just found out about it in a sales meeting. Um, and Tammy, I guess, mentioned it to us. And most of the designers at that time, if I remember, were very nervous about the idea of being on camera and did not want to be on camera. Um, I was one of the first, I believe, that agreed <laughs> to even, <laughs> um, you know, do it. So I thought it was, it was, it was interesting though. It was cool. I thought it would be something fun to do. And I've, I've done, I've been on TV or done recordings before when it comes to ministry type things. So I wasn't completely shy to the camera. Um, but I just figured, well, if it's another way to promote what we do and educate the public, why not do it? <laughs> I think it was uh, Jeff and Tammy saying that we were going to be on the show. And uh, I remember uh, a long time ago when they filmed uh, something with one of our other designers. I thought, oh, that looked cool. And, you know, so when they said they were actually going to do a uh, regular one, I thought, hey, that'd be pretty neat, you know, to get the show on TV and whatnot. Of course, you know, seeing yourself on TV is a lot different than. Uh, <laughs> than what you think, you know, you look at yourself like, oh, wow, I don't like that, you know, or something like that. So, uh, uh, but other than that, though, no, it's been pretty cool. I like it. I was, I was pretty nervous about it. I've never been filmed before, especially while I was working. So it was a new experience. Uh, scared to death, wasn't going to do it. <laughs> I think it took a lot of doing to get me on there the first couple of times. I think I've only been on it twice, maybe. I don't even think I was really warned until the day of, and then it just happened. I mean, I was nervous, but I did it. Jeff came into the office and he told me that we were gonna start this uh, TV show, that we were gonna be filmed, and I was not thrilled about it. Um, it was kind of awkward, and I mean, it's still, I've gotten a little better about it, but it's it's got its moments where it's a little tough. I was a little panicky, <laughs> uh, but I, it's been a while now. I guess we learned about it in a, a meeting um, when they announced it and that we were going to be filming the installations and talking with the clients. And, and I, it's really a good idea. It's, um, it was fun. I have done several. I haven't done any recently, but I would like to get back and do some more.
When I was first told that there was going to be a TV show, I have to admit I was kind of excited about it because it's reality TV and all that good stuff. So it was fine until I went to film my first episode and I thought I was going to have a stroke. <laughs> I was so nervous. And then everything just went well. It, it was, it was, it's really been fun. It's been quite a journey. I have liked being on TV. I think it's, um, it's been enlightening and it's been fun with my clients because it's a really nice client bonding experience. So it's just been really fun and I hope that we continue. I was told we were gonna do a TV show by our owner, Jeff Brusezzi, one day. We were having a little meeting, a little one-on-one -on -one, as we tend to do sometimes after a job. And uh, he actually mentioned to me, he was like, hey man, I got an idea. And I was like, holy smokes, because that could mean a whole lot of stuff. And uh, <laughs> Good and bad. Yeah, good and bad. And so lo and behold, he said, well, you're going to be on TV. I was like, well, let's do it, man. Let's get it going. So yeah, it was pretty cool. We just wanted to show a little bit of what we actually do on a daily basis, on an hourly basis sometimes, and so to make some stuff happen. So that's how I found out about it. It was the first time that I met you, and here, put this shirt on, and we're filming today. Nick's actually a uh, student of acting, and that's where we, we found him, <laughs> through a catalog. I have been recognized. I've had people um, in public stop me. I've had family members and friends, you know, remark when I've, you know, when I've come into contact with them that, hey, I saw you on TV, you know, or I get texts occasionally out of the blue, like, hey, I just saw you on TV. <laughs> I think it was probably, I think it was in Walmart one time where someone mentioned that I looked familiar and reminded them of somebody that they had seen and then through, you know, kind of narrowing it down and saying different things that I, I figured and put two and two together that that's what it was. <laughs> I was recognized by a little neighbor boy. He came over to play with my kids and said, hey, I saw you on TV the other day. And so far, that's the only one. <laughs> we got 10-year-olds watching uh, Operation Reorganization. <laughs> yeah, it's been pretty cool, actually. Uh, um, I've even had a couple folks even say, hey, I've seen you on TV. That was pretty interesting, you know, like at church or at a restaurant. So yeah, it's been pretty nice. Two years ago when the show went national, I have a, a friend that lives in Oklahoma and she sat down to dinner one night and was thumbing or clicking through her channels and she saw Operation Reorganization, oh that's right up my alley. She's very organized and, and clean and all that and so she uh, clicked on it and started watching it and she thought, oh, that's Denise. And so she took a picture of the TV and, and uh, she Facebooked me and said, hey, I, look who I just saw on, uh, on TV. So that was fun. Someone in Oklahoma. Yeah, because it's national. Yes, I was at my gym. Oh. Yeah, by my, uh, my, my instructor of all people. That was the one and only time. I was a little embarrassed, but. <laughs> we were getting into the pool for our water aerobics class. It's just, oh, by the way, I saw you on TV. It's like, oh, you saw me on TV. Like, what the wow. heck are you talking about? <laughs> Because, yeah, that TV show, the one where you're doing closets, it's like, oh, that one. <laughs> I have never been noticed. Yeah, I don't know. It's sad. Maybe it's a blessing in disguise. You know, I want to be like one of those A-listers that just walks around and has people taking pictures of me all the time. So it's a, it's a blessing. I remember being in an office one day working on a, a concept for their, their front office and the owner of the company comes walking past as I'm sitting there talking to the office manager and he says, oh, I saw you on TV. And I said, oh, thank you so much for watching the show. You've seen an episode? He said, seen an episode? He said, it's set on my DVR. I record every new episode on the, on the show. And I said, I mean, it was so humbling and kind of cool to know that somebody has stuck with us all this time. I've gotten some fans though, you know? That's really, really cool about it is that whenever you show up to install somewhere you know the people are like hey i was just watching you on tv and you're just like wow now the standards are really high now they're really you know so yeah that's been pretty cool
One that comes to mind um, was a client that I remember um, did a dressing room. And I remember she had painted her walls like bubblegum bubble pink. <laughs> and it was this really, she had a really weird request because she wanted the um, cabinets to kind of be floating in the middle of the room. Um, and even when I tried to talk her out of the design, she was like, no, 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 because of stuff she had seen on Pinterest, she really wanted to do it. So um, it was something I had to really get with Jeff and you know the engineers about to make sure that we could do it, <laughs> that it would be structurally sound. And I got it approved and we did it. And but she was just, she was really fun, um, purpose, purpose person to walk, work with. And, um, I remember her reaction, you know, in the end was really fun. And she actually bought a whole nother house um, and insisted that we come disassemble it. And we actually reassembled it in her new house. <laughs> so. A favorite install? Oh gosh, there's a, a bunch here and there. My favorite ones are the ones that happen quick and then uh, they're done before I know it and there was no problem. There's a couple of them. I know there was one we did that had like really tall, wide back and in a laundry room. It was 109 inch tall panels, went to the ceiling. It was, it was a beast to get in, but it turned out good, but a little tricky. I guess I could say it's my favorite episode, not because it was mine, but because of the projects that were involved. Um, one of the things that I noticed when I first moved down here from Pennsylvania was we don't have attics and basements like I have up north. So there was no storage in the house that I have. So we had to be creative and come up with storage in a different way maybe than you wouldn't normally think of. I thought the icon one was really cool. Yeah, I liked that. I, my mom kept saying, you need to watch the icon one. It's really neat. She said I had no idea. And so I thought that was a fun one. Um, yeah, I, uh, of course, the, of my own personal ones, it's kind of like, you know, Sophie's choice, I don't know. <laughs> I had a couple that was a little older and uh, very, very sweet, very, very friendly. And um, they had a hot tub <laughs> and they started talking about getting in the hot tub. <laughs> Were they inviting you? No, 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 oh, no, okay. no, just them. <laughs> If so, I would have probably gone out the door and said <laughs> goodbye. <laughs> but no, the, but uh, they just loved to sit in that hot tub and relax and they were funny. They're a really sweet couple. I think about them every now and then. It's really hard for me to pick a standout segment for me because my jobs are like children and you're not supposed to say you have a favorite child, although most parents would favorite children come and go. They change, depends. So I don't, I can't really pick one, but I can pick a few. I loved doing Tammy Shia's craft room. We converted an entire room over the garage and that was on the show. And that was, we did it in several phases, but that was just, I, I think what I'm, what I do is take these pictures and there are certain jobs that I keep showing those pictures over and over and over again. It resonates with people and they inspire other people to do similar projects. So Tammy's was definitely one of them. I loved doing Lamont and Lisa Henry's dry bar. That's another one, pictures I show constantly about that. They were so much fun. I enjoyed having them as clients so much. And if I do say so myself, the murky bed that I built for my dining room, that that's inspired a lot of projects. And that was the one where I worked with Denise on, um, she was my designer, and we compared what I had designed to what she thought I would want, and that was a lot of fun to do. So it's, I've done so many really, really cool projects. I do about 100 a year, so I'm at like 1,600 projects for the company. And I've got thousands of pictures, so, I've just done so many cool jobs. It's really hard to narrow it down. Those are probably my top three. I don't feel differently about designing for TV. I just know when it's a big, beautiful job, it's gonna be on TV. So I approach it a little bit differently, I guess, but as far as the design itself goes and the way I go about doing a, um, an appointment, it's all the same across the board. I don't think that um, knowing that I'm gonna be on television has changed 
the approach to the design too much, um, but maybe more so in the interaction with the client, especially if I feel like there's the potential that the design would be, you know, great for the show. Um, I may approach the client a little bit differently to try in hopes of, you know, getting them on board. <laughs> Because some 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 people are very outgoing and free, you know, and and there you know is no problem. But a lot of people are also camera shy, you know, and don't like the idea of you know being on TV. Um, and so I think that part I approach probably more differently than I do the actual design. Because the design, um, no matter what who I'm working for, the client TV, no TV, I always try to do what's what I feel is best for the client as far as function. And, and, and solving whatever the problem is, because there's usually a problem, and that's all why we're there. Um, and then, of course, the aesthetics that they're comfortable with. So. I don't think it's changed it too much, you know, other than maybe just showing them why I'm, what I'm doing and why I'm doing it. Uh, I wouldn't say no. I would say I kind of just do what I do, how I do it, kind of the same. Yeah, I don't, I re I don't really think about it like that. That it, that it's that I'm thinking about that I possibly would be on a show uh, doing talking about the design or you know I just don't, I don't know. As far as whether the show has changed my approach to design, not so much when I arrive at a client's house because I never know walking in whether they're going to be doing the show or not. That happens as part of the design process with them. So I don't walk in designing differently. But as the project evolves and I start thinking of things that would be really cool on the show, and the client has already told me that, because I'm assessing as I'm doing the design whether or not it's show appropriate, when the clients start getting excited, once I've asked them, then we start maybe designing things a little bit different because it would be great for the show, it would look really good on TV. So sometimes things do evolve as a result of agreeing to do the show, and that's always fun. A lot of times they haven't seen it, and so I've been bringing up the, the programs on my computer for them to watch them, and then we can kind of talk about it together. And, um, so yes, it has been a benefit. <laughs> you got like the negotiator, like somebody that could smooth things over on camera, while the other guy is like getting stuff done behind the scenes, like, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and take out, you know, take this banker drawers and get them ready and stuff like that. You go handle all the, you know, the FaceTime and stuff. So that's yeah, pretty cool. You figure that out as soon as you get there and it's first come, first serve, man. So as soon as we get there, it's like whoever can get up in the space first <laughs> and uh, put that flag down. <laughs> so yeah, that's how it goes. But it's, it's, you know, for the most part, it's really, really fun. interesting because now that I've started doing this show I look at even shows that I look at on TV different even reality shows that I see on TV I look at them different and I wonder hmm I wonder how many takes they had to <laughs> to do that or if it really was just all you know one take so yeah it's different because I just was amazed by just how much is involved you know with the, the, the situating of the cameras and the lighting um, and how the noise and background noise and how much that affects, you know, everything and having to keep all of that in mind, so. Uh, sometimes on camera you can't move as freely as you'd like to <laughs> because there's <laughs> microphones and there's an eye on you, you know, it's just it changes the way that you speak to people and being watched, feel a little bit under supervision or something, I don't know, it just feels a little bit different. I mean, you're seeing pretty much uh, what's going on, you know. Um, of course, you'll probably edit out like the, the moments where we were doing something repetitive that you've probably seen 10,000 times before. But other than that, I, I, I think so. No, it's exactly how we do the job. I mean, we're not really changing up any except for we're explaining more. But that's about it. Yeah, it's pretty real. I mean, I'm sure you edit when I hit my finger with the hammer and I scream out the the cuss word, <laughs> but yeah, it's pretty much straight on. 
Uh, I'd say it's pretty reality. Yeah, yeah. I think that um, what you see is sort of what you get uh, with uh, the designers and the, and the clients and uh, the finished product. Yeah, it's uh, pretty real. Because it's very real. There's so much that could go wrong. Um, <laughs> you try to do it all in one day. We try to do installations for the most part in one day. So if anything goes wrong, I mean, <laughs> it get, doesn't get much more real than that, right. I don't think. As far as I remember, it was, it was pretty real. Nothing was really faked. It was literally just what we were doing step by step, what we do on a daily basis. So I'd say it was pretty real. We're just real. You know, there's, there are no airs about us. We're just all real people. And none of us is a celebrity. Although my daughter's friends have said, is your mom that red-headed celebrity on TV? And she said, well, she's got red hair, but she's certainly not a celebrity. So that's cool, don't wanna be, just wanna be me. I want more. I like the show. <laughs> I like the show too. Um, I think that with me, I think like even this, this past year, it, I just kind of was so busy, um, you know, and trying to coordinate it all sometimes can get challenging, but it's definitely worth it when everything lines up, when the client's schedule and our schedule and everything can match up, it's definitely worth, worth the time. Being on Operation Reorganization has helped my business, um, especially because I put on my email, I actually have a link that encourages people to go and watch the show, especially when I have visited with clients who maybe were on the fence and they're still considering it and so they didn't really quite say yes at that first appointment. Um, I will use links you know to the show and, and encourage them to watch the show i actually like it i think it's pretty cool we love our film crew i have pictures of all of you in a little shrine no yes of course I do. <laughs> little voodoo dolls no not voodoo dolls <laughs> i think the show needs to continue i think so too i think it's been good i, I actually did have another lady uh, i went to a birthday party a while back and she came up to me and said I saw you on that show, you're a TV star. That's what she says to us. <laughs> hardly. They start asking you for your hardly, autograph. Hardly, <laughs> yeah, hardly. But anyway, yeah, there's, uh, it's, I think it's really uh, the people who do tune into it enjoy it mm -hmm. and, and uh, learn a lot and, and see what can be done. And I think you're starting to get a following now, too. I mean, it's been, people are just now starting to, I think, get in the habit of watching it, um, hearing about it more. So it's out there more. I love all the crew, y'all are great. I don't love filming that much, but no, I mean, 10 years, I'll be a lot more, a lot better than I am now. So I don't know, maybe it'll grow on me a little bit more. I'll be so excited to be featured. Yeah, thank you for being super talkative during this interview, man. You no really problem. Brought a lot to it. Glad I could. I would like to see the show go on just for the simple fact that that's the only legacy, <laughs> you know, that's, that's the one thing that's really cool about recording or video, especially in this day and age now, is that you have some kind of legacy, no matter what it is. It could be good or bad, but people will remember you. So that's what I like about it. Yeah, sure, absolutely. And you know, It's hard to forget somebody like this once you've seen them. Yeah, I mean. Let alone being right beside them. Makes them feel good every day. So we're at the end of season five. We want to thank everyone who participated. It's been a great season. Yes, thanks to our clients, our designers, our wonderful installers, and the production crew that put this thing together. It's been a wonderful season, and we'd like to again thank everybody. And the viewers, hope that you enjoyed it as much as we have.